this class we discuss about the constructional detail and the operation of a high pressure mercury vapor lamp john thomas way developed mercury vapor lamp in the year 1860 he tested them on hammersmith bridge in london the modern high pressure mercury vapor lamp is developed in the year 1936 by philips no individual names are available the mercury vapor lamp is a high intensity discharge lamp and it is also called as hot cathode gas discharge lamp mercury vapor lamp is similar in construction to the sodium vapor lamp and may have low pressure in the bulb the recent development in the mercury vapor lamps is an ultra pressure lamp operating at about 40 atm and its efficacy is more than sodium vapor lamp now we will see the constructional details of a high pressure mercury vapor lamp a high pressure mercury vapor lamp consists of two glass tubes and two main electrodes and one axillary electrode and axillary electrode is connected to a 50 kilo ohm resistor and inside the tube we have a small amount of mercury plus argon a choke is used to develop a high voltage at the time of starting a capacitor is connected across the supply to improve the power factor generally high pressure mercury vapor lamp operating power factor is 0.65 to improve the power factor we are connecting a capacitor across the supply argon is introduced to start the lamp the electric discharge first takes place through the organ and vaporizes the mercury drops inside the discharge lamp the electron emitting material supplies electrons to maintain the arc the space between bulbs is partially or completely evacuated to prevent heat loss by convection from the inner bulb here the outer bulb is made up of ordinary glass borosilicate inner bulb is made up of quartz the inner bulb consists of small amount of mercury plus argon argon is used for initial discharge outer bulb inner side is coated with fluorescent material to block ultraviolet rays two main electrodes ab is the main electrode and one axillary electrode c is axillary electrode the main electrodes are coated with electron emitting material thorium is used axillary electrode is connected through a high resistance here the 50 kilo ohm resistor is connected across this point choke is used to develop high voltage and also to limit the current after discharge a capacitor is connected across the supply to improve the power factor this is a constructional detail of a high pressure mercury vapor lamp now we see the operation of high pressure mercury vapor lamp when supply is switched on full voltage is supplied across the electrodes the lamp is filled with the mercury vapor therefore low resistance path is created and arc is shifted between main electrode and the discharge tube therefore current does not flow through the main electrode due to high resistance of the gas but the current starts to flow between the main electrode and the axillary electrode through the organ gas this break down the gap and discharge through the organ takes place this enables main discharge discharge from the tube strikes the fluorescent coating of outer bulb from which secondary emission starts and gives crisp white color initially it gives a crisp white color vapor pressure rises <coughs> until all mercury is vaporized the light given out is a bluish tinge initially it gives a crisp white color later a bluish tinge it requires a blast that is it at the time of starting it needs high voltage that's why we go for a choke a special blast is required for dimming purpose this is the operation of a high pressure mercury vapor lamp advantages of high pressure mercury vapor lamp number 1 color rendering is better than high pressure sodium vapor lamp number 2 long life 16000 to 24000 hours number 3 it produces similar to daylight which may help in increasing the production of a factory disadvantages of high pressure mercury vapor lamp number 
Mercury vapor lamps are the most inefficient source of light with an efficacy in the 25 to 55 lumens per watt range. Number two, mercury vapor lamps may be greatly affected by lamp lumen depreciation and should be replaced after 24,000 hours. Number three, four to five minutes cooling and restart time is needed. Number four, like many lamps, it contains traces of mercury which must be disposed of properly. Number five, it takes six amps approximately when switched on. And after six minutes, it falls to three amps. Applications of high pressure mercury vapor lamp. Number one, these lamps are suitable for large areas like parks, street lighting, high ceiling buildings and gyms. Number two, mercury vapor lamps have found greatest use in industrial applications and outdoor application. Number three, lamp sizes range from 40 to 1000 watts. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.